In this video, I will be making a Yodo form. A Yodo form is special because it's the only solid out of all of the halogen forms. One of its interesting properties is its smell. When I smelled it, the smell was penetrating and notorious. And I think it smells just like you would imagine an operating room in a hospital to smell. Its only appearance in nature is in a mushroom called the Angel's Bonnet, and the mushroom itself is reported to smell of iodoform. I will be making iodoform as a gateway to fluoroform, which is in another halogen form. In fact, this is the second part of my form series where I will be making all of the halogen forms. For those who don't know, by forms I mean fluoroform, chloroform, bromoform and iodoform. So if you would like to see them, be sure to subscribe. Ok, so to synthesize iodoform I will need some elemental iodine, sodium hydroxide and acetone. First to a beaker filled with distilled water I've added some sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is used to create a strongly alkaline environment. I've turned on strong stirring to dissolve the hydroxide faster. Next I've started adding elemental iodine pieces that I've made in the last video. As the iodine enters the solution it begins reacting with the sodium hydroxide producing something called sodium hypoiodide. For those who are confused on what this molecule is, is basically iodine bleach. After it has all dissolved, the solution turned yellow, which means that we successfully turned some of the sodium hydroxide into sodium hypoiodide. So to turn the sodium hypoiodide into iodoform, I've added acetone dropwise. If you add too much acetone, the iodoform will dissolve in the acetone, which is very hard to separate. As you can see, as I've added the acetone, a yellow precipitate formed. That's our iodoform. So I've decided to play it safe and I've prepared a gravity filtration. I will be passing the solution for some toilet paper to separate the insoluble iodoform from the solution. I've later tested the filtrate for the presence of hypoiodide in it by adding some acetone, but barely anything came over. So here's my iodoform on the toilet paper, it's really not that much, so I have to make another batch of it to make fluoroform. So just for fun I took some of the yellow iodoform, added some magnesium into it and blowtorched it. Well, that was a pretty cool flame, however, to my surprise, none of the iodine vapors came over. It's most likely because they've reacted with the magnesium as they were being liberated from the decomposing iodoform. Oh well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe.